hello my dear students welcome to my computer science class so students we were discussing the chapter charts in ms excel and i have told you how to create a chart the different types of chart how can we change the style of chart how can we change the layout of the chart so in this sequence today i am going to tell you about how can we add title to the chart so this is our chart i have to you have to click on the chart and then this chart tool appears on the design tab add chart elements are there so i have i will click on this access title and then the primary axis and primary horizontal and primary vertical axis are there so primary horizontal axis is the x axis and primary vertical axis is the y axis so my chart already has access title so i am not clicking on it but from here we can add access title now i want to change the access title so i will click on this x axis title and i will write here whatever i want to like name the font size is small so i can increase the font size also you can format it in any way you can change the color also similarly you can change the y axis title also in this way you can change the access title you can write whatever you want to write i have already told how can you change the layout now one quick tip about that when you will uh, click on this chart few buttons are displayed so you can these are the shortcut buttons if you press this button your chart elements are displayed that uh, it is displaying axis axis title i want a chart title also so i will click on this chart title also chart title will appear and then i can write the chart type type i can edit it from here also or i can edit it from the color scheme so i have added the chart title here these are the legends now i want data labels and data table also so data labels so in this way data labels are there but because a number of data labels are there so it becomes little confusing so i am removing the data labels now if I, you want that your data table should be below the table which you have used for uh, the preparing the chart should also be displayed along with the uh, chart so data table is there if you click on that your table will be visible just below the chart now you can change the color format or layout from here also and these are the different layouts you can choose out of it or if you want to change just the color uh, pattern so these are the different colors so i can change the color scheme from here also if you want to filter your data like values series categories i want only neha data to be displayed so i can filter it from this button monitor only monitor data will be displayed printer only printer data is being displayed so you can filter your data if you will apply only that particular data will be displayed but your data will remain there only like 
I want only the mouse data to be displayed. So I will click on it. I will remove all the other and then I will click on apply. So only mouse data is displayed. Here the table has also been shortened but your data will remain there if you want I want monitor and mouse data to be displayed here so in this way you can change the or filter your data or filter your chart accordingly so this was about the charts now the next feature is smart art chart so what is a smart art chart it is uh, it is a smart art ch uh, chart is a graphic and uh, you can create let me first add a sheet or I'll create the smart art chart here so a smart art chart can be added to track the hierarchy of an organization or a method or a workflow so it makes your um, data more presentable it is a smart uh, like if you are uh, explaining some process or a cycle so it will be easier for the the one who is explaining or the one who is understanding it in a better way let us see how so first you have to click on insert button the, this is the smart art chart tab you will click on it so you have to uh, this smart art graphics dialog box will appear you can choose the type you want a list a process a cycle or hierarchy relationship matrix pyramid or picture like that so i want to choose hierarchy then there are different subtypes of this chart so i'm choosing this one and then i'll click ok so this smart art chart appears and you just have to start typing here you need not to create a flow chart or a process chart uh, manually it is already fed in the smart art chart now i want i'm writing operators so there are two types of operators so i will write here arithmetic operator and comparison comparison operator I can increase the size of chart so I will increase it I can increase this also you can change the layout yourself also or you if you want you can change the layout from here also there are different types of layouts like this is slanted view or a tilted view or some different type of charts are there now I want to add one more table here so what I will do So what I will do uh, there on the ribbon smart art tool tab there are some buttons like add shape I will click on this add shape <coughs> the third shape has been added if I want to add more I will click on this again first I have to write here Now I will add more shape. So we can choose it where to add it. Like I want to add the shape after this. So 
the shape shape has been added in the same way you can add it you can promote the shape i want it to be here so i will promote it now it is here you i can demote it so in this way i can change the colors the color scheme of this chart this these are the different styles these are the different layouts i can change the writing style writing pattern using this format button so in this way you can format the smart art by using the different smart art tools so this was about the smart art chart now let us move to the next feature which is a very interesting feature spark lines so what are spark lines i'm uh, removing this or i'm moving this below so what are spark lines they are a tiny word size charts that can appear in a cell and it is very easy to create spark lines and there are basically three different types of spark lines the line column and win and loss so let us see how can we insert spark lines first of all click on the cell where you want the spark line to appear then click on this insert tab on the insert tab there is a group spark line group this is the spark line group and in this there are three options as i have told uh, you can create three types of spark line charts like line column win or loss so i am clicking on this column as soon as i when i click on this column a create spark line dialog box appears now click on this icon to select the range i am clicking on this icon data range and then i have to select the data range so i am selecting this range so here is the range then this is the location where the spark spark line will appear so we have clicked this cell so it is appearing g3 g3 is the cell address or the cell reference then i'll click okay and this spark line chart appears so if i am using this spark line chart uh, properly then the data analysis becomes quicker and more to the point now uh, as soon as we click on this chart the design tool appear these are the different design tools for spark line uh, you can choose it from here you can change the spark line colors like that now similarly you can add spark line for each and every cell each and every data and one more thing i have told you about generating a series so i can create a uh, spark line chart from there also click on this bottom right corner and drag the mouse it will appear like that you can change the chart color you can change the chart layout different things you can change it out so this, uh, these were the different features in char charts in ms excel there are a number of other features in this charts you have to explore it by yourself just click on these uh, tabs and ribbons and you can explore a number of other exciting features so till then students um, i'll take your leave so thank you students practice this properly i'm sure you will enjoy doing this thank you students